Hey, cheers! Welcome, welcome, everybody. Between you and Cody, you guys drive me nuts. You didn't just like, jump in there. I say, welcome, everybody, on cocktail times, and he's like, oh. <laughs> and you're usually like, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I didn't know we were starting. We're always starting. How are you guys today? Uh, we are back for another um, great pickup. This is uh, something that I got for Cody for his birthday when he turned 25. So you guys will be... Did you get in Colorado? I did not. You'll be excited um, because we've been talking about this one for a long time and have never really um, pulled the trigger and picked it up. So if you like this kind of thing, make sure you hit the like and subscribe and uh, go ahead and share the video with people. Uh, we're excited that you're here. Uh, this is a Colorado whiskey called Stranahan's. It's actually distilled by Stranahan's, unlike um, the other big Colorado whiskey that was uh, sourced forever. I think they're actually distilled, which was 10 cup, but uh, this is Stranahan's. We actually do have a Stranahan's for the bar. It's um, the Stranahan's Blue something, Blue Peak. And uh, that will be coming sometime in the future. But we're gonna do this one because, like I say, I got it for Cody for his birthday, and he has his own bar at home and likes to keep stuff at home, so he was kind enough to bring it up for us to um, do an episode on, and then he'll be taking this home. Uh, we did sample this on his birthday, and it is quite good. And it's got a tin cup, and we know how Cody likes yeah. the tin cup. So this is from the Stranahan Distillery, like I say, in Denver, Colorado. It's a Colorado American whiskey. It is always seemed a little too expensive for my taste, but I actually got this at a reasonable rate at $48.99, which was surprising. But since they came out, they now have, um, like I said, the Blue Peak, they have a Black Peak, they have a, a Cast Strength, they have a Rye, and so they have a lot more to offer, so that's probably why the prices are equalizing. It is uh 47 percent or 94 proof and aged two to five years and one of the gimmicks i call it a gimmick is that you have this um mixing cup and it's actually got um like a one ounce mark and a two ounce mark and it says i guess it says strain of hands so um this would be cool for you to have if you don't have like uh, mixing cups and a of course, you know, when Cody wants to get rid of this bottle, if he ever does, he's kind of like me. He's got a horde of empty bottles. Um, this will definitely be something he wants to keep. Uh, and Stranahan's had to either one up Tin Cup or Tin Cup uh, is trying to copy Stranahan's because they have one, but it's a lot smaller. I was going to say, Tin Cup, that's a very generous Tin Cup. If you got that and you, that for your Our lights went out. We'll be back. Technical boom, difficulties. Boom, boom, out goes the light. Hi, <laughs> hey, we're back. We had a little power technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. He farted, blew everything out. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right, so as we were talking about, um, this is Stranahan's, and it is a reasonable price, $48.99, and a pretty good proof at $94. And we have been wanting to try this for quite some time. I can't remember if I've had it in the bar or not. Uh, I do try to taste a lot of different things in the bar. Uh, like I say, if you know, know me at all and you've watched our videos, I don't really buy anything that we've already had. There's a couple notable exceptions out there. And in the bar, I usually, if I can help it at all, will never order something I've had. I always want to order something new because that's how I roll. So. All right, so let's go ahead and do this review. It is obviously a one barrel because of cost at $48.99. So is it blended? Does it have an age statement? It's on? a single malt. Stranahan single malt, aged two to five years. Two to five. Mm hmm that just depends on what they feel like at that point. right because Colorado is much like Texas in that it has the severe weather fluctuations and so 
if they're having a hot summer, they could probably pull it off in two or three years. Okay. If they're having mild summers and super cold winters, then it's It'll gonna be longer. longer. So, we'll go ahead and do the review. Mm. Still battling this. Dang. Allergies. I don't think it's that I have my palate zeroed in better than you. Uh, I'm probably just as horrible at figuring out what things All right. smell like and taste like. You need the chart because you have difficulty putting words to it. I just use the common words that I'm accustomed to. I don't know words. All right. So this is a one for cost at $48.99 and okay for aroma I'm giving it a four you're giving it a 3.5 I'm gonna bump that you said four I'm gonna bump it up okay you're giving it a four too because it's really like so tell us about the aroma it's got and first of the first thing I got and you probably didn't get this at all because you don't like that at all but I got a little bit of banana in there oh yeah I can get that yeah I did I actually said dried fruit because I couldn't really determine whether it was I was thinking more on the lines of apricot but now that you say banana definitely get that banana and I had another thing and I wrote it down and it just looks like an ink spot on my cheat sheet okay looks like you need more pens but um It's a little chocolate in the aroma. Okay. A little bit of chocolate. You can get hints of that. And the dried fruit. Oh, that's what I wrote was banana. Or the in the fruit I wrote the banana. That's what I got. Okay. Get. Little vanilla. Okay. The, the flavor's got it's got a little cinnamon. Mm-hmm. It's um I think the aroma of this is just great. Well, it's definitely a single malt. It's very malty, um, Yeah. I think. But it's also got a strong hint of sweetness like corn to it. I don't know what the mash bill is. Um, I didn't see it online, and I don't know that it says in this. It's got a little yeah, vanilla it really in say. the flavor. I put honey. I think it's a little bit honey on the nose. Um, but I did put vanilla in the flavor. So for flavor, I have a four. You have a three. You said vanilla and that dried fruit banana. Mm -hmm. I also am getting the malt and barley um, kind of combination. Again, I don't know what the mash bill is. There may not be. I mean, it's a single malt, so it's got to have malted barley in there. Um, but I'm getting corn sweetness, too. Um, mostly on the nose, a little on the flavor uh for bite i give it a four you're giving it a three so i'm high rating it you're kind of average rating, average it. rating it there's it there's a little bit of i mean you can tell it's a 94 proof whiskey but it's really smooth they did a great job in in creating that flavor profile to take away that bite and there's no really uh, medicinal alcohol to it so that's why i gave it a four well, I think as they market it as a single malt, it doesn't really taste like a single malt to me that much. Yeah. So that that's probably why I'm giving it a lower rate. I'm, if they market it as something else, I'd probably <coughs> give it a higher rating. But if I was looking for a single malt, 
and I was just not a regular <coughs> like you. Uh, got everything in mm -hmm. here. You want to try something? I might be a little disappointed if I was looking for a single malt. Not that it's not a. It's it's well, a very good whiskey. So <coughs> I don't know. Would I be disappointed? I mean, because there's like Scotch single malts, whole different ballpark. Um, compared to American single malts, like here in Texas, our single malts tend to be a lot more smokier mm -hmm. um, with some like mesquite or um, uh, Texas brush, that kind of smokiness to it. This doesn't seem like it's smoky at all. Like they didn't really, I don't know what their malting process and drying process was. Uh, we end up going to Denver once a year because we have family there and we just came back. That's where I got the allergies. And if we had time, we had planned on maybe going to the distillery. But then with COVID and everything, it's kind of hard to determine whether you can get in. But it is on our radar to hopefully go and see their whole process. Uh, and like I say, we have their um, Blue Peak that's coming up. Maybe we'll know more. Uh, I, I like it a lot. Oh, I like it a lot too. And I think it's just... The single malt just threw me off a little mm -hmm. bit. I was expecting a little something different. Right. Which, I guess that's where I'm... If they would have marketed it as something else, I, I think I would have gave it more of your points. But, but you got to remember, this is um, a regional whiskey, Colorado. Um, a whole different climate temperature. Can you hear that? Yeah. A whole different climate and temperature. So it's really difficult for us to... I mean, without any comparison of like region stuff. And we do have some Colorado whiskey. We've done some in the past, but I don't think any were single malts. Uh, this ends up being uh, one over a three. I got 13 points. You have one under a three. You have 11 points. A three is 12. So this is a solid three. I don't know that it needs a bonus or anything. I, I really like it. I think the price might be penalizing it by yeah, about a half a point. But... I would say um, you should definitely pick this up for just the novelty of a regional Colorado whiskey, single malt, um, the whole tin cup thing. It looks quite cool on the bar. And just because it's good. Yeah, it is good. Uh, and they definitely have custom bottles too because it's all bubbled and printed on and it. it's got a, like a flat back on it. For you to sit against the wall. So this is definitely something you should try. I'm excited to try their Blue Peak, which we own, and maybe look into their um, other, their rye and their, their Black Peak and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, definitely give it a try. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you think. Uh, we have quite a few Colorado uh, viewers that will hopefully comment for us. Or actually, this is available pretty much everywhere. You get the, the not the local, but the... I think this is available in every state and probably outside of the country. They've been around for a while. I think it's the first Texas legal distillery. I could be wrong. Somebody's going to call me. Colorado. Yeah, in Colorado. Um, but tell us what you think. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all of our other videos Monday through Friday. And remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is really good whiskey. This is really good whiskey. And we will see you next time. Bye.